Okay, so let's have a look at importing an asset. So as I've said before, an asset is anything that goes into your assets folder in your project um, and can be used to make up your game in general. So I'm in Photoshop and I've just designed uh, this graphic. So I'm gonna use that as a texture. And when you design a texture for a game, it should really be a power of two. So that's two, four, uh, eight, 16, 32, uh, 60, uh, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, a power of two number squared. Okay, so this particular one I've made at 256 pixels square. So the good thing about Unity is you can save as a Photoshop file. So what I'm going to do is go and find my project folder. So it's the same as uh, if you were on PC, I'm on a Mac, but it doesn't make any difference. You need to save somewhere in your assets folder. So there's my project folder, my first Unity project. I go into assets and I might want to keep it organized so I can make a new folder here and say, okay, well, I'll call this one textures, for example. So. I might call this, um, I don't know, box one, for example, box one. Save that in there. That way, when I switch back to Unity, you can see Unity in the background now. Obviously, you might not see that if you're on a PC, but you can see it on a Mac. It's in the background. Nothing's happening. But as soon as I switch back to that application, it imports my item. So it's imported the folder and the texture inside it. OK, now the crucial thing about importing an asset as well is you can set how it's imported, i.e. how that asset will be interpreted. It won't change the actual file, the asset itself. It will just uh, change how Unity interprets it when it's placed in the game. Now you can see here I've got an ISO level. So that's the kind of uh, filtering that's going to be done on uh, that object when it's used in the game. Uh, I've got wrap mode, which is uh, how it's displayed. Um, texture type, uh, I could change it from just being a texture to various other functions and um, we won't go into just yet. And then I could set it to different sizes. So I could set it down to um, the highest size it should need to be. And you can see there I've got profiles um, for different types of deployment. Okay, so the default settings for my file as normal and for other different export options, you can set how it would be used. Um, you can also say, is it gonna be compressed or is it gonna be true color? Usually you wanna compress things to make them behave nicely, but there'll be different import options depending on um, what kind of asset you're bringing in. And it's different for something like a script, which will just show you properties of the script itself. So when you're importing an asset, place it into the assets folder or go to Assets, Import New Asset. If you're working with someone else in Unity, you might want them to give you assets that you've used as well. And to do that, you should ask them to give you uh, an asset package. To export a package, you simply select various things that you want to include and go to Assets, Export Package, and that will include all the different dependent assets that those things need and export them to a single file. So I'll call this example and you can save that way you like because it's a bundled item. So if I save that on my desktop, it will find all of those objects, put them into a package and then you'll end up with a single file that you can send to someone. So there's my example.unity package and I can send that file over to someone and they'll get the same setup uh, as I've got on the same import settings as well. So that's what's really good about working with Unity packages. And likewise, if someone sends you something, you can do the same thing, you can import a package. If an asset isn't working properly for any reason, you may need to re-import it, and you can do that via the project panel as well. So you can right click there and say re-import. So that's basic importing and exporting of assets in Unity.